First off, thank you for looking at this channel. If you have not subscribed already, take one second and hit that subscribe. I really appreciate it. What we are talking about today is the dung beetle. You know, Asian whip. His car, his means of transportation. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, this car has came from afar. I mean, from when he first got it, when it was white, to this. To, I mean, when it basically he redid the motor and everything in it and it was tearing up Porsches and you name it I mean it was fast I mean for what it is I mean it's definitely light and probably has about four or five hundred horsepower in this picture right here and I mean this definitely came from afar well last time I seen it it was in about 2018 in this clip let me see So the last time I seen the Dung Beetle was semi show 2018 after the facelift. But the biggest question I've been getting is what happened to the Dung Beetle? I don't see it no more. Well, you tune into the right channel because I'm about to tell you. The Dung Beetle been getting front facelift, new piping. I mean, look at the old piping, the old manifolds. I mean, he's definitely, definitely put in some work. I mean, this new turbo cooler wrap that he's got on it and the chrome piping and I mean he's definitely cleaned it up we'll let Asian tell you a little bit more let's check it out cruised we rolled her out she's back here in the 405 one thing we wanted to do was we wanted to clean up the lines we had a uh, coolant lines running through and at first it was the only way it was the kind of the gen 1 design to run the uh, the coolant lines through the cab, but we thought, man, if they busted open or something, if we had an issue, got in a wreck, we could have some, uh, we could have a boiling point issue. So we've hidden all the, the coolant lines into the, the transmission rod tunnel. We've got the, we've got the kind of the, the, the hybrid shifter in there. Um, and then we've got the other race seat for a passenger. Um, we still got to button up some things with the, with the back end. We got to cover up the firewall. Uh, we got some suspension, and as it kind of comes in with the brand new look, um, Steve Darnell, courtesy of, put a, a coolant pump because the lines run all the way from front to back. We have to have kind of a pusher motor to help kind of move some of the coolant uh, to the back of the engine to keep her cool. So a lot of guys aren't going to like this, but um, I don't really care. This is way more efficient. It's still a flat four, and quite honestly, we're not moving away from anything. This car is probably more California than it is German, um, and it was even with the air-cooled stuff. So we're not going backwards any. We've only been moving forward. We got Misfire Motorsports. We got Ben West doing the tuning, and then Jeff Lutz is doing the fabrication. Man, this thing's gonna be a different animal. I'm, I'm probably gonna have to relearn how to drive it. Misfire and Jeff Lutz they teamed up to, to help kind of build the intercooler system. They know how Subarus like to breathe, so Jeff knows how to fab. We kind of uh, partnered up there and, and put all that together. Also, they don't make uh, they don't make Subaru headers for Volkswagens. So you have, Jeff had to kind of come in here and kind of went old school with it. Uh, it's still hidden, it's not gonna drag the ground. Um, you could, you probably could fit a stock Subaru header and that's what had on it from Misfire, but it was dragging the ground a little bit. So Jeff, let's fab this up, put, a, put an equal length um, stainless works uh, header tube system on it. And Misfire's used one of their, one of their own intakes on it, fabbed up the turbo. So everything's pretty piped and ready, hot and cold. So we just gotta, we gotta tune it. We gotta make sure she's gonna do what she does. I gotta learn how to redrive it. And then we're gonna take her out, make some hits. She's back home. Y'all know Asian and farm truck are my dudes. Well, Halloween got me thinking, what happened to that hearse from that one episode? And then I found this. Wow, it's the live twin turbo setup. V8 LS motor? OMG. 
Mordor Nova sound like it got a cam in it. Ain't nothing stock with them boys. They give me hope. Let's check out that four door Nova named Mordor Nova. <laughs> As always, thank you for looking at full video. I hope you share this video and subscribe to Don't Worry I'm On It. Thank you in advance and I can't wait to hear from you guys and girls in the comments on what you think about this dung beetle and the four door Nova and the hearse. Let me know.